It's hurricane season in South Texas, and the Rio Grande Valley's nearly one million residents are reminded of recent storms that made landfall on the state's Gulf Coast. But for the valley's undocumented immigrants, an estimated 150,000 people, escaping the region's next big storm might not be so easy. Officials from U.S. Border Patrol have announced that, for now, a violent storm won't keep them from operating interior traffic checkpoints about 80 miles north of the U.S.-Mexico border. At those checkpoints, every evacuee would be asked the same question, are you a U.S. citizen? The checkpoint will remain open as long as it's safe for the agents, the public, and the structure. If there's a an evacuation called by the state or local authorities. Uh, we will work closely with them in order to ensure the, the, the safe and speedy uh, pa- uh, evacuation of all people. Of course, uh, people's safety and uh, well-being is paramount at all times. So we'll always make sure that everyone coming through is safe, but that's not gonna preclude us from doing our job, which is to stop illegal entrance and narcotics and other, other threats from entering the country. We have to. Uh, inspect everyone coming through and as you can see if you turn around you'll see that it takes seconds to to inspect the vehicle seconds and to to make a determination if that person is here legally or not that policy has many residents like chris rocha worried rocha is a legal permanent resident but her husband has lived here illegally for more than a decade she's one of many residents who wrote to homeland security secretary janet napolitano early this summer asking the government to announce that it would shut down checkpoints during a natural disaster. I'd stay here with my family, Rocha said. Sure, we want to go to a safer place, but it's just not worth the risk. If my husband can't leave, then we'll stay here together. Valley immigration attorney Karina Spencer-Shurich has been urging Border Patrol to clarify its policy on the operation of interior checkpoints during hurricane evacuations. There are now 33 such checkpoints along the southwest border. The two structures north of the valley operate 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, and bisect suggested evacuation routes. At the Falfurias checkpoint north of McAllen, 20,000 undocumented immigrants were apprehended in 2006. Why here? Why here do we have this non-negotiable checkpoint where as, you know, in Louisiana or Florida or other places, California, you know, this, that issue is, is negotiable. We already pay a very large price um, by living on the border. You know, we live in a very militarized area. We accept a certain amount of intrusion by federal government. But this is asking us to potentially pay with the ultimate price of our lives. Last year, during Hurricane Dolly, a Category 1 storm, Border Patrol continued checking the immigration status of evacuees. That decision surprised Juanita, who lives just east of McAllen. Now, she says, she's out of options. If I stay and something happens to us, what am I going to do? If I leave, they'll detain me along the way, and what am I going to do? At this time, we're asking our government to help us. Cameron County Judge Carlos Casco says Border Patrol agents have implied in private conversation that they will not check the immigration status of every evacuee. But without a public assurance issued in advance of a violent storm, thousands might refuse to evacuate, Casco said. At the end of the day, if you you have a Cat 3, 4, 5 storm and they see a line, I mean, two miles long of vehicles and buses, I think they'll get the order, hey, just wave them on. But they're not going to do that until that day. Right. By that, but that, to me, that's after the fact. The problem is not the people that get in line to evacuate. The, the problem is the people that are not going to get in line to evacuate for that fear. That's the problem. And all we can do is deal with it when the time comes. And that means, you know, if they get hit in an area where it's they're risking their, their lives and you know our deal is search and rescue and, 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 and recovery. That's all we can do.